In a major push to modernize the Indian Armed Forces, the Ministry of Defense has approved arms acquisition worth 67,000 crore rupees with a strong emphasis on enhancing India's surveillance and strike capabilities across land, air and sea. The Defence Acquisition Council, chaired by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, sanctioned procurements for all three services with a landmark focus on indigenous drone development. The centerpiece of this acquisition is the approval of 87 armed, medium-altitude, long-endurance drones valued at 32,350 crore rupees, developed under the Make in India initiative. These drones will be co-produced by an Indian company in collaboration with a foreign original equipment manufacturer ensuring at least 60% indigenous content. Designed for both intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance and precision strike missions, they will significantly enhance India's monitoring capabilities along the Pakistan and China borders as well as in the maritime zones. These drones are designed to fly over 30 hours at altitudes exceeding 35,000 feet. Their roles will include real-time battlefield surveillance, cross-border targeting and persistent overwatch in high-tension zones such as Ladakh and the Western Front. A study by the Integrated Defence Staff determined the required number based on the size and strategic importance in critical areas. To ensure sustained operational readiness, an additional 11,000 crore rupees have been allocated for a decade-long logistics, space and maintenance package. Deliveries are expected to commence by 2029-2030 financial year, marking a long-term commitment to indigenous capability building. In parallel, India will acquire 32 high-altitude long-endurance MQ-9B Predator drones from the United States through a foreign military sales agreement. These drones will complement the indigenous fleet, offering strategic depth and interoperability. This wave of procurements reflects India's dual-track strategy, bolstering indigenous defense manufacturing while leveraging global partnerships to meet urgent operational needs.